Nagaland de senior citizens ka nimide national helpline elder line laga second anniversary Thursday de Kohima pa manaise MLA Dr. Chelo Tio Rutsonge special guest matigina. Ito ho moy tai pa footprint magazine be launch kudishe. Rutso para kushi ki Nagaland pa senior citizens ka tai ka laga khilaf bia hua complaint kriyado bishi komti asi kuigina. Ito society laga bal attitude elders ka nge dia nimide thagya pabna asi kushi. On behalf of the senior citizens of Nagaland, we thank the Adelaide staff for creating awareness about the Senior Citizens Association of Nagaland throughout the state, for which our Senior Citizen Association of Nagaland membership has already risen up and is touching the figure of 5,000 at the moment. We would like to request you to continue to create awareness about the scan, that means Senior Citizen Association of Nagaland, so that with good number of members, we can start the district units, we can start the subdivisional units, and we can start circles and village units. So that, in turn, the Senior Citizen Association of Nagaland, the Good Samaritan Women Society and the Elder Line and other like-minded organization and agencies can work together for the welfare of the old and the needy persons. Today, as youngsters, as active member of society, as a citizen of a city or of a state, if we give our concern if we give our help to the elderly and establish a strong system and organization or a department to help the elderly. You are just helping yourself because you are also walking, marching towards that stage. Someone of my age, in a decade's time, in one decade time, I'll be an elder. And 15. So, youngsters here, I just want to tell you that if you help the elderly, if you try to establish a proper elder helpline, you are just helping yourself. You are just securing your future. And as the proverb says, or the Bible says, do it to others what you expect them to do for you. So today, what you expect others to do for you as you become an elder citizen of the future, why don't we do it to our elders now, then, whichever way possible, because we expect others to do it for us in the near future. And as educated person, as a responsible citizen, why don't we do it for the elders now? The, the our, our madam has highlighted some of the visions and mission. There are so many things in the society where elderly are not properly looked after, but. I would also say we are very fortunate to be Nagas. And Madam just said that the call is very less from Nagaland or the problems that is highlighted to the center is very less. It is just because of our society system. Mm -hmm. we, take it, we take it as a stigma or as a, uh, I don't know how to put it, as a, like, mm -hmm. a taboo that an elderly is neglected in your clan in your care, in your village. So we usually try to help the elderly. And it is the responsibility of especially the children to look after their own parents. But I'm sure it is very less in Nagaland to completely neglect their own parents. But yes, there may be some elderly without children, without issue. But at the same time, if we Nagas, we try to help elderly through clan, through care, through village. That's why the 
problem faced by elderly may be very less or the goal the complaint may be very less in that just because of our social or society functioning slide. But I'm sure it will slowly increase as the population increase and as we are marching towards more urbanization.